。非洲毒王黑曼巴在非洲当地人的眼中是一种最为恐怖的蛇，当地人将它称为。In a small village, a young woman named Sophia discovers an unusual bond with snakes, leading to a life filled with ups and downs. But one day, her life changes drastically when an unexpected event threatens to separate her from her loved ones. In a surprising twist of fate, Sophia's unusual ally will try to save her, demonstrating that sometimes love and loyalty can come from the most unexpected places. Sophia, a 30-year-old woman, is the person you call when you have a snake problem in your home. Originally from Russia, she currently lives in the United States and. Usually receives several calls a day from scared families requesting her help. She goes to capture the snakes and takes them with her. Some snakes she keeps, while others she returns to the forest. This hobby of hers has been her livelihood since. She arrives in the North American forests. It all started with a snake. 今天的视频将带大家看看世界上最稀有的九种蛇。我承认。In a corner of the street, a man saw her and couldn't ignore her skills with the reptile. He approached her and asked if she could help him and his family get rid of a snake that had been living in their house. Sophia accepted, although she didn't know she would be paid for her work. It didn't take her five minutes to catch the snake. 但是也有不少是无毒无害的蛇，甚至可以当成宠物。The man told her he would recommend her to his friends and gave her some money before she left. It was the first time she had earned money on her own, and she was very happy about it. As time went on, she learned to love snakes. She was very happy about it. As time went on, Sophia continued to receive calls from people requesting her help. With the money she earned from this work, she was able to open her own snake care center. In addition to helping people catch snakes, she also taught pet snake owners how to train them. Questions like how to domesticate a snake and how to handle one without getting bitten were common inquiries she received. Training a snake to perform tricks is not possible, unlike dogs and other pets. However, 大多数毒性很强，但是也有不少是无毒无害的蛇，甚至可以当成宠物。At that moment, Sophia officially started her own business and found success in it. Now she lives a very happy life alongside her pet snake. 更可怕的是，这条蛇的危险性。如果你经常在野外，就祈祷别遇到白眼镜蛇。大家好，这里是好奇科普。今天的视频将带大家看看世界上最稀有的九种蛇。我承认，非洲毒王黑曼巴在非洲当地人的眼中是一种最为恐怖的蛇。当地人将它称为“非洲毒蛇”。我们一般都会联想到，在毒蛇上的人。但她的家庭生活在一个荒郊野外，人们经常发现蛇，甚至在他们家的卧室里。所以，他们知道如何处理它们。Her father was a farmer and an expert in handling snakes, and she learned everything from him. She used to watch him while he trained a snake to become a pet. One day, her father told her she had to learn to deal with snakes because she was the eldest sister, and her parents depended on her when they were busy working on the farm. At first, Sophia was very afraid, but gradually. She learned to at least scare the snakes away, which was enough to protect herself and her family. Day after day, Sophia learned about snakes, their venom, and how to deal with each one. 更可怕的是，这条蛇的危险性。如果你经常在野外，就祈祷别遇到白眼镜蛇。Snakes to become pets. 提到毒蛇，我们一般都会联想到记忆中的毒蛇。One day, Sophia found a very small snake in her house, and felt a strange connection with it. She decided to keep the little snake and train it as she had learned from her father. She named it Asmela and took good care of it. The girl had a very special relationship with this snake, and even her father had never seen a snake. She was attached to a human.
Esmela became something like a dog for Sophia. And followed her everywhere. At that time, Sophia was eighteen years old. A beautiful young woman. Everyone in the village wanted to marry her and her parents received many marriage proposals. However, they didn't feel that their daughter was ready yet. So they rejected the proposals. Sophia wasn't interested in getting married. But she knew it would happen sooner or later. She told her parents that she had a condition regarding marriage. She wanted to bring a smell with her to her new home. Wherever it may be, when Sophia turned 19, she went with her father to the biggest house in the village, owned by the landlord who owned all the lands in the area. He was a wealthy businessman who lived in the capital and came to collect including Sophia's father, a couple of days every month. On this occasion, it seemed that they had a problem with a snake. And no one was there to solve it. Sophia's father decided to bring his daughter to help. In just a few minutes, he managed to kill the snake. But the wealthy man couldn't help but notice. How beautiful Sophia was. He thanked her father, gave them money. And invited them and their family to dinner. The dinner turned out to be a meeting too. Introduce Sophia to the wealthy man's family. Especially his son, Sergei. Sergei was a handsome young man who was supposedly looking for a wife. As his mother kept saying, it was clear to everyone at the table that the purpose of the invitation was to find a future wife for Sergei. A couple of weeks after that dinner, Sophia and her family were invited to Moscow to Visit the future home of Sophia when she would marry Sergei. Sophia explained to Sergei that she had one condition. She wanted to bring Esmela with her. Sergei found it strange. But he had no problem with it. In just a few months, everything was ready. And Sophia found herself living in a large house. Wealthy people. But soon she discovered that Sergei was not as good a person as she had thought. He was a spoiled young man who did nothing but drink. They started having many problems in their relationship, leading to a breaking point, at the point of physically abusing her. One day, Sergei had a huge fight with Sophia. And when he began to mistreat her, Esmela bit him. Sergei screamed and ran out of the room. Thinking that Sophia had turned into a snake to do it. He believed that she was a witch cake of controlling snakes and went on a rampage around the house. In reality, even Sophia didn't understand how Esmela had acted that way. Sergei's drinking was driving him crazy. And he thought he needed to get rid of Sophia. So he came up with an idea, he would use poison. And claim that Esmela did it. He thought that everyone would understand. Because snakes could Sergei put poison in Sophia's breakfast and By noon, he was crying to his mother, telling her that he had just found his wife dead. He yelled that the cursed snake had poisoned his wife with its bite. In fact, the doctors confirmed that Sophia had been poisoned. Sophia was taken back to her village for a funeral. Her father couldn't believe that. The snake had done this. As he had seen how it catched his daughter, was to Esmela for many years. So, he allowed the snake to be present. At Sophia's last farewell, he placed the snake on her body for a moment. But Esmela turned aggressive and wouldn't let anyone else come near. The father noticed that Sophia's arm was still warm, which stopped the funeral. He called the doctor. And it turned out that Sophia had been poisoned with a chemical poison, indicating that it was the work of a human, not a snake. At that moment, 
Sergei was drunk and confessed that he was the one who poisoned Sophia. The police arrested him, but Sophia's family feared the fire of the family. If you are always drunk, don't be afraid of the dark side. Hello, this is Hao Qi Ke. Today's video will show you how to kill a bat. As a result, Sophia's family sent her to the United States to save her life. Being so young, she arrived in the American country and, thanks to her snake handling skills, managed to find a job. As I mentioned at the beginning of this story, Sophia is now a successful woman with her own business. Boys are very fond of dogs. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a four-year-old boy who lives in the woods. Jackson is a So he is often away. Mrs. Pat Shaw doesn't work. She is mainly responsible for staying at home and taking care of her son. Jackson was just like any other four-year-old, even more energetic than most. He loved playing in the yard, playing sports. 更可怕的是，这条蛇的危险性。如果你经常在野外，就祈祷别遇到白眼镜蛇。非洲毒王黑曼巴在非洲当地人的眼中是一种最为恐怖的蛇。当地人将它。She animals. She will adopt them until they find a permanent home. Mrs. Pat Shaw wanted to share her love for animals with her son, so she let the fur kids run with Jackson. And play in the yard with the fur kids. Jackson became more energetic, and he gradually fell in love with these animals, especially energetic dogs. Jackson spends most of his day interacting with the animals around him. He no longer feels lonely because his father is away all year round. Mrs. Pat Shaw is also very pleased that. These animals have had a positive impact on her son. 更可怕的是，这条蛇的危险性。如果你经常在野外，就祈祷别遇到白眼镜蛇。大家好，这里是好奇科普。今天的视频将带大家看看世界上最稀有的九种蛇。我承认。And well behaved. Jackson spends hours in the yard every day, playing with his dog friends, and comes back to the house covered in mud every day, just like every child his age is naughty. His dog companion puts a smile on his face. His mother was always comforted by the fact that Jackson got along so well with the animals, and the constant communication between them also helped to fill the void in his father's absence. Mrs. Pat Shaw was never restrictive about the types of dogs she could keep. She worked hard to make sure all dogs were treated equally, especially with the stigma attached to some breeds. One of which was the pit bull, notoriously often portrayed in a very negative light. Pit bulls are the preferred strength of the fighting dog breed, and are often bred to be violent. But in fact, these dogs are not aggressive in nature. They are very aggressive. 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 And they also need the attention and love of their owners. But most people don't realize this. And even fewer are aggressive. Jackson is always very 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 aggressive. Unfortunately, many people are deceived by their appearance in the advertisements, and they fell in love with the aesthetics of a powerful breed, like a bulldog. Would love to see this mighty dog get bigger and more violent. That's why pit bulls usually appear in large numbers in rescue centers. These dogs are basically lost in battle. It is not easy for them to find a family willing to accept them. 大家好，这里是好奇科普。今天的视频将带大家看看世界上最稀有的九种蛇。In some countries or living spaces, these dogs are completely banned. But kids don't see pit bulls that way. Children seem to have an innate sensibility for animals. 
they can discard past social prejudices about pit bulls and give unconditional love. And Jackson is the same. Like most kids, Jackson had weekly pocket money earned through his chores. This is one way Mrs. Pat Shaw educated Jackson. Letting him know that there is nothing free in the world from an early age, and how to take care of himself when he grows up, after receiving a small amount of pocket money every week, Jackson's mother would encourage him to save and save money, helping him develop good financial habits. Which made Jackson learn for a child of Jackson's age. It is not easy to be able to do these things. Even many adults cannot guarantee to be as self-disciplined as he is. But Sean, across the state to different animal shelters. Which she does voluntarily and supports. As much as possible. For animals she cannot bring home. Little Jackson got to know Bashar. Because of the animals. He is Bashar's loyal partner and assistant. He likes to visit the animals in the shelter. And also likes to call Bashar to learn. About the animals. Animals and make new friends. The animal shelter staff knew him well. They'd known him since he was a baby. On this day, Jackson and his mother came to the car. They were going to visit some of the animal shelters. They frequented to see the animals. This was Jackson's patrol mission. He makes sure that all the animals waiting to be rehomed are well cared for. But after visiting some familiar shelters, Jackson's mother decided to change plans. And go to one they had never been to. The Charleston Animal Society. Jackson was ecstatic because he had never been there before. So it meant he could make new friends. When entering the shelter, Jackson's excitement was palpable. He wanted to meet all the animals. But his mother stopped him and told him to introduce himself to all the staff first. After some pleasantries, Jackson walked to the cage where the dog lived, and it was here that Jackson discovered a unique dog. The dog, a smaller pit bull, sat motionless in the corner, as if waiting for something. Jackson felt very strange, so he asked the staff about the dog. The staff told him that it was a pit bull that hadn't fully grown up. His former owner didn't know the breed of this dog when he raised him. Later, the child of its former owner was born. For the safety of the child, the father checked the information of this kind of dog and felt that the bulldog was too dangerous. He was afraid of threatening his child. So it was taken to a shelter. The bulldog thought that his owner was just leaving for a while and would come to pick him up soon. So he waited in place for his owner to pick him up. The dog has not eaten or drunk for three days and has been waiting for its former owner. Hearing this, Jackson's little heart was instantly touched and he couldn't help but shed tears. He immediately turned to his mother and begged her to adopt that cute bulldog. Unfortunately, his mother refused the request because if they move back into the army quarters, they won't allow pit bulls at all. So she's just trying to prevent the inevitable. When it came time to say goodbye to the pit bull, Jackson broke down in tears. He really didn't want to leave him like this. They walked down the hallway to the parking lot. When Jackson suddenly stopped. Yes, he can't leave this poor dog alone, it needs food. Moreover, this dog is likely not to be adopted for a long time. And it may be euthanized by them. Although Jackson knew that his situation could not adopt the dog himself. He might think of another way such as providing funds for shelters or 
other people to help take care of the dog. So he approached the shelter staff and his mother with the idea that he would use all his pocket money to support the dog. Everyone was amazed by the kid's attitude. A four-year-old kid is willing to spend all his pocket money on looking after the dog instead of buying some snacks and toys for himself. This is something that many adults can't do of.